every character there's more top i'm sorry there's more high tiers in this game than there are in previous games for sure but not every character is good enough to beat all the top tiers but in this game for sure there are more characters with tools than in previous games but this adds to contention of you know is this character low is this character mid and is this character high you know there's only by design some characters are just not able to be good enough in the meta so that's the that's the thing but anyways ven versus utopian ray vegas versus east coast i'm really curious as to uh what oh wow you get two job blocks almost <laughs> but at, i'm really curious as to what uh utopian ray strategy is oh that's what his strategy is to get past the phantom you, you just you just wonder wing them <laughs> as soon as the move comes out you use the armor <laughs> from wonder wing <laughs> It's actually really good against Zelda, it seems. I think Zelda can still edge cancel her up in this game. I wonder if that's what uh, Vin was going for there. No way. Uh, Vin messing up an edge cancel, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what that was. But he's just going to fall down from the angel platform with the forward air. Still, throwing away that free stock, not something you want to do against a character like Banjo. It's already oh. really hard to hit this character. Yeah, most definitely Combined not. with him being really heavy. Not a good look for Vin already. Yeah. Yeah, he's still wondering. Again, he's just going to use that uh, move to just go through it with a Phantom pretty consistently. Yeah, definitely Ray has understood the full tools of what to use against not only Ven as a player, but definitely Zelda as a character. And so far, he's doing a really good lead here. And like you said, Strides, this is a really difficult character to deal with, especially from a deficit. So Ven has his work cut out for him, but nothing he can't do. We'll see how he makes his comeback, man. It's... It isn't over until you put the control down, and Ven is not going to put the control down just yet here. 134, 79, that's a back throw right with stage control here. Sets up the opportunities to cover the recovery, but that's not enough. Ven gets the edge cancel on the recovery here. Man, Ray is playing so smooth. The banjo is, uh, is so hard to hit, dude. Okay, Noah smash there. I'm surprised he didn't go for the up tilt, but he gets another opportunity for another down throw. Getting out immediately. Vin is mashing so fast. No up air kill, unfortunately, for him. You guys get a back throw here, maybe? Yeah, and I don't think that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I eat my words. I eat my words. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, Vin with uh, uncharacteristic SD with the up B, giving Ray a huge, huge lead <laughs> that, that he will definitely not drop whatsoever. This character is really, really, say what you want, man. Utopian Ray is a player who's gotten results with all his other characters. But when you think about, like, Wi-Fi in general, too, like, the meta of the characters that dominate, it's smart for Ray to actually pick up Banjo because you can see how the character's strengths and how hard it is to make a comeback against the character. Especially for Ven missing out that edge council. That was really big for Ray to just take control of that and really tough for Ven to just lose that. Yeah. But the crazy Look thing about rough. both of these players is they have very strong offline results. So, nothing to scoff at for sure. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I'm interested to see more of uh, Utopian Raid's banjo. I know he was using him a lot, but not as much as Palu offline. Yeah. I feel like if you're Dropping Palu for Banjo, you have to really love Banjo. <laughs> you must really love this character. I think it, yeah. I have to agree with him that one. You must really love this character to drop a character like Palu. But also, it's like we said, Strides, the online meta bring is so different that there's even DLC characters that we know are very strong, but the online meta of characters are just stronger for the time being that it's just worth picking up one of those characters to play in tournaments. Nice use of the grenades here from Topian Ray. 
covering a lot of space. Even trying to get some like follow-ups off of the explosions too. Okay. Can he come back? Using the grenade here, gonna up B. Oh, he's out of pool. Oh, grenade? yeah. He's uh, okay, okay. Didn't meet the threshold. Close yeah, enough, I though. thought maybe he could. Shot. Yeah, I thought maybe he could pull another grenade and then uh, have it blow up in time so he can get closer to the stage, but it looked like it wasn't the case. Okay, so Vin sitting with the lead this time, surprisingly, uh, after not SDing, <laughs> he's able to actually maintain a lead here. That was good on Vin there at the platform we saw earlier, because he gets the neutral with a cross up, and then the way Knight was at the positioning of the sword swing would have definitely been strong against Ray letting go of shield. All right, up tilt? No, up tilt here. Second attempt here. This one might be an up smash. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. He's missing all of his down throw follows. Unfortunate for Ray here. The crazy he's thing really is, really doesn't want to take too much more percent. The 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 timing for a down throw up tilt is very very narrow and almost not true, but at that percent that'll be true there. Also, like I said, very very narrow. It's only true at like very very high percents where it's difficult to Ooh. mash out. Then with a strong hit of that forward air, not going to be enough here. But then, if he's able to take out Ray's stock here, he's going to find himself a stock lead. No Fowler's win hit, but good enough to use it to move around, specifically the grenade, and then try to call out Ray for taking center stage. Oh, big dudes fired too. Ray is kind of getting pelted by these projectiles, but Wonder Wing crushing through all of Zelda's defenses. Only has one left though on this yeah. stock. He's gonna really need to make it count if he wants to use it. And honestly, the way that we've, seen, we've been seeing Ray play, he can definitely make this comeback here. But Ven with the setup here against Knight, that's gonna force Ray to go for a higher recovery. Ven on the snipe, they're trying to get the forward smash, missing the mark there. But I like that setup either way, because he was looking to push Ray into that position. Good stuff from Ven though. Look at the way he's taking the stage control, but also look at the way that he respected the distance between him and Ray. He knows like if I need to if I need to give up a little bit of the stage to just get Ray off of it, then I will pay the price, get the back throw as a reward here. 63 on Ven with Ray on the last stock. Good stuff on, on Ray oh. too. Every time he uses grenade, he uses it with purpose to either create space to force into a grab situation or a read oh. like that. And just, <laughs> I was gonna say it, it's good because Ben thought he could get the pivot grab, but Ray immediately with the Wonder Ring takes the stock and puts out even stocks. Now this is suddenly becomes Ben's game to lose because he was the one holding the lead at first. Exactly. Yeah, Ray has just proven this whole time I've seen him play on stream is that like he's, he always can make a comeback. He's very, very patient and really clutch when he's finding his opening. So even if you have a lead, you uh, still can't sleep on him. All right, dash attack. Okay. Knight to kind of control the bottom of the stage itself. Great play from Ben. He locks the stage and the landings for Ray with using Knight, but I like that Ben always takes the time to contest the air as well. Fire okay, here that's really stopping hard. Ray. Look at all, oh, look at this empty hop. Yeah, that was really good of an attempt there to go for forward air. Oh, look at right, the grab, Knight. but Vin's out of sight of range. Very scary position. Messes up the Wonder Wing, but he still has two left, and he doesn't get punished for whiffing the first one. All right, Vin with Knight, oh. no up air. Gets the forward air, no oh. jab lock. That was good for Vin, though. He charged the forward smash, thinking Ray might actually roll get up towards him. Man, Ray has him at the ledge here too with the grenade. Oh, nice catch with the up air. Really trying his best to juggle Zelda. Gentleman jab, nice. Vin, yeah, and, yeah, Vin just can't get off the ledge, man. Oh, big up air though. Some All space right. to set up a little bit. Dash attack not enough. Go oh, to oh yeah, that's gonna be, yeah. yeah. The end lag from Wonder Wing is significant enough to actually get a punish like that. Yeah. Their rage is, I, I'm sure he really expected the, the Phantom to come out there and you're just like, okay, I can I can punish this with the Wonder Wing if, it, if the move comes out. Yeah. Either that or miss input, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> really, good, but, really good on Arrow to 
take note of that. Like, Ben got really patient, for sure. Like, that's, that's kind of, like, the secret to finding the character. There's a lot of things going on with Banjo. Like, there's eggs, grenades, the side bees, jabs, crabs. Like, you name it, Banjo's doing everything to you. But sometimes the true key to victory is honestly is patience because, like I said, Wonder Wing at a distance and even out in terms of just end lag, raw end lag, it's kind of punishable. You just have to be able to hold shield and then look for the opportunities to actually punish it and also know what moves are perfect to punish it. And in Ben's case, it was going to be that forward smash. All right, well, game three here. Really important game here. Battle. Kind of surprised, but we'll see what happens here. I thought... Ray played this stage incredibly well, even though it had that SD. The way he was using the platforms to maneuver around Zelda, so good. So I'm surprised that Vin's allowing him to use uh, the battlefield again. Oh, also, this cross bait is much triple. harder okay. for Zelda to avoid that Wonder Ring. Because he doesn't have as much space to set up the knight. Even using the grenade too to hit him during the, the Phantom as well. This is really good coverage right now for, oh, uh, for Ray. Yeah, good coverage for Ray, but also good for Ven to just pay attention. Like, he doesn't like the situation at all on the stage, so he lets go of ledge, knowing that Ray had committed to a forward smash, and that bide him time to come back. Ven is very situationally aware of where Ray is and his positioning, and you can even see it right there in the interaction off stage when Ven just selected to just let go of ledge. All right. I like that third that Ben is constantly throwing out. Like, he's letting Ray know that even if I miss this up air, it's constantly letting you know, like, you might have to air dodge, and this will be good for me. And Ben initially just traps Ray here. Still taking the stock here, and he's pretty much got this lead. A lot of patience coming out from Ben, though. He's not going to give up his hit. It's going to be down throw back. Yeah, I was going to say it. Down throw forward air. Oof. Oh. The knight in shining armor, man. Powering wow. through Wonder Wing. I, yeah, it actually like, stalled the Wonder Wing just enough for Vin to have enough time to get in position to punish. Okay. Using the Nerus to get the reflect down time. Yeah, but, see, see, see yeah. how that's... That was a good match from Ben. It's only true at very high percents, and the timing is very tight. So you can actually match it with Dan, match with down throw. It's, it's not as good as Rob's, per se. Good for Knight to cover that ledge there, too. If Ray tried to go a little bit more towards the ledge and set up grenade like that, Knight's sword swing was going to cover that. Oh, but unfortunately, smart. just like Palutena, she doesn't immediately grab the ledge, and they're not immediately invincible. There's actually a frame where you can punish that, and Ray was able to recover that. Yeah, the active frames on Wonder Wing are so long that uh, you can punish a lot of people just snapping the ledge with that the Wonder Wing like that. Oh. It's the initial hit of Nehru, uh Fowers win, but not enough to actually seal the stock there. It's the second hit with the most knockback. Or the recovery hit, so to speak. All right, Ben, looking for stage control here. Sets up Knight to cover the, the pretty much in the middle of the stage here. Letting go of ledge here, because like I said, he always pays attention to Ray's positioning here. Because he never wants to give Ray that position where like he can get grabbed, shield broken, or crossed up. Spot dodge with grab here. Good for Ray to go for that down tilt. We haven't seen Rain use that down tilt. It's a good low profile and it's got a really good range to it too as well. Yeah, especially at the ledge, you can just snag so many recoveries. Yeah, you can two frame people, like you said, snag recoveries. A lot of characters, like basically their head sticks out when they recover, so you can still, like you said, snag it. Nice use of the Nehru's, man. It gets the hit out and using the frames of invincibility to get through the grenade, too. All right. This is what I like from Ray. He's kind of going back. He's been doing it a little while. Oh, great angle of the shield, too. Avoids the shield poke and the shield break opportunities. Spot dodge, but that shield is looking mighty small. All right. Another egg. Sorry, another grenade here for Ray. We're going to take control here. We haven't been seeing Ray use Briggle Blaster as much, which would be really good for him to just force Ven to use Nehru's love and possibly get a cross-up. Oh, good for him to use those active frames of Wonder Wing. Oh, oh big the snipe. jump. Yeah. Yeah, the jump. Yeah, a, a lot of Banjos will go high, especially uh, due to their multiple jumps, and they have the up B as well. If they don't have the, the Wonder Wing... Most of the time, they're going to try to go high like that. But, uh, yeah, Zelda, Zelda caught that pretty easily, unfortunately. 
for uh, Utopian Ray. Yeah. This Zelda is making me fall asleep. I'm sorry, Jeremy, bro. <laughs> ben knows how to play this matchup, bro. He's playing for the real money. He's playing to win. Sometimes Three, Justin Wong, two, dude, he was the one, he was go. the inductor of playing lame win the game, dude. Like sometimes you gotta play lame. You gotta know how to hold a lead. Cause not every moment has to be hype. It's all about you taking the W and frustrating your opponents. And tiring them out. In a real boxing match, dude, sometimes the boxers that like to tire one another out to try to get a victory. And Ven knows he's got to play the long game. The patience will pay off here. He's got 2-1 against Utopian Ray. Yeah, and uh, I said it earlier, but yeah, Ven's already gone through uh, at least two sets tonight of Snake versus Zelda. And I imagine he just has already... To, uh, built the patience to deal with uh, fighting these projectile characters right now. Yeah. Call with grab here from Ray. Roll back. Good call with the Wonder Wing here. Not enough. Not strong knockback, but not enough to take care of Ven here. All right, Ray's got stage control. I like how oh. he holds that. Look at where he puts the grenade and he tries to get that grab back throw. Narrowly missing. Him. Let's get. Oh. Man, I thought that was going to be a big F smash from, from Ray. I actually haven't seen him go for a mini in this match, or if any at all. Oh, he's matching that up till. <laughs> and then he gets the shield folk for good measure. All right. Oh, what a good call. Like you said, oh, oh. he caught the landing. He caught man. the landing, man. He knows. All right, cool. He might try to grab the ledge. Let me stop him before he gets the chance. And you said it best, right? He uses Din's fire because what's the thing that Ray's gonna do is use all those jumps and that height to try to get around to recover. All right, potentially big for Ray. He's got Ben off the stage and missing the Nair. Ben stopping the grenade from happening here, but good for Ray to use the Wonder Ring to get through the night, break through Ven, and take this ledge situation up there to stop the recovery. Then with the up tilt forward smash to read the spot, the air dodge. Yep, it's a good catch from Ben. Also using the Phantom in con conjunction with his aerials just covers so much space in the air, making it really, really rough. Oh, got the cross up. Try to actually combine like the hitbox of the Phantom with the cross up of B. Actually yeah. would have been really good for Vin. I don't I've never seen Ben in all my years of like commentating some of his matches, I've never seen Ben do that, but that was a really well play that I have to respect, even if it failed. Oh no dash attack. That would have been good at the ledge too. Yeah, Toby and Ray's really been trying to use that uh that Wonder Wing to try to check Zelda's phantom usage, but yeah. so far, man, not working out for him. Ben taking his time coming back on the stage. He knows he knows what Ray's looking for. Forward smash. Ben with stage control. Can he stop the high recovery? He's got nice setup. All right, Ray looking for the center stage here. Opportunity sets up that grenade. Nice to hold the shield again. Another grenade opportunity, oh. but Ben stops him in his tracks. I was, wow. I've been saying Actually, this time and time again. I think he needs to use Briggle Blaster a little bit more. I gotta say, it's, the change in this match has been really interesting just because uh, Ben was getting punished so heavily by Wonder Wing every time he tried to pull out the Phantom, but but now Ray is really struggling to deal with that move. That in combination with. Oh, there it is, finally. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that in combination with the Nehru's being a reflector on the bombs really been helping out Then, But, great combo there from, uh, from Ray. Eating things up pretty nicely. Oof. Okay, got the grenade trap again. But now Ray sees the Nehru is coming, so he's just going to try to bait it out, get the shield. Uh, out of shield punish on that. Oh, Ray getting hit here. Nice. Trying to avoid landing in general, but he sets up the grenade to hold the stage. That's going to be a back throw. Stage control here for Ray. Grenade in play. Looking for the landing against Ven. This has got this is a little bit of a setup here. And this forward air. Oh, Ray coming back for the ledge. Great recovery from Vin. Just holding down a little bit. Oh, man. But he 
gets past everything. Ray yeah. went for that Wonder Wing setup to try to get the two frame. Oh, what is Vin doing? Okay, he gets away <laughs> with it. Oh my god, so scary right now. Uh, no up air for, for Ray. Oh. Ray is looking for this chance here, but oh, he needed to leave the Vin. Struggle. Vin's right there under Banjo, ready with that huge up air to catch the landing. And then Ray was just a few, few punishes away from catching that, that dub, bringing that to game five. But the Vin saying no dice. Really good stuff. Really good stuff.